Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a reading for you guys. So this reading, it's about what kind or what type of deception you're gonna be experimenting in the future. I have eight cards, okay? So if you feel drawn to one or more cards, please see the answer for each one that you feel drawn to because that might, that means that there's gonna be a lot of deceptions coming your way. Like you're gonna be experimenting more a lot of deceptions, not just one. So if you feel drawn to uh, three or four or more cards, please see the answer. That means it's coming for you. You know, your intuition is telling you that, hey, this is going to happen, but this is going to happen, but this also is going to happen. So check all of them. Take your time. I have card one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so choose with your intuition. Take your time. I'm going to start with card number one. Okay, let's start with card number one. So let's see, guys. For you guys, card number one, the deception that you're going to be experimenting in the future, this could be not get married. This could mean, uh, okay, maybe some of you are waiting for a wedding maybe some of you are waiting for this celebration this thing this could be a party this could be a celebration but this also could be that you're expecting to marry someone or that you want to marry someone but that's not gonna happen okay so whatever it is that you're expecting is not gonna happen if you're expecting a marriage a proposal uh, maybe a party of somebody in your family that they were going to make a party. They're not going to make it. It's not going to happen. You're going to have this, well, deception because of a party. And this also means commitment, marriage, and all of that stuff. So this could be also mean, well, about your partner and your your um, husband. You, you wanted to marry that guy you wanted to marry that girl is probably not gonna happen oh my gosh that's awful but yeah whatever like every person has a different thing so it's not just all about marriage it's not all about that it's about party celebration and everything so take your situation like apply all this that i said to your specific situation so it's different for everybody so i hope you guys liked it let's go with group number two Okay, you guys, so group number two, what type of deception are you going to be experimenting with group number two? I see that this could be a boss. This could be a boss that you're going to, you're going to be dealing with a boss. You're going to have this deception probably with the boss in a... Probably you're going to be asking for some more extra hours or maybe a promotion or something and you're going to get denied. This could mean also if it's not a boss, it could just mean somebody with authority in your in your family. So this could mean your dad. You're going to be experimenting this deception with your dad or your grandpa or your big brother or just somebody, somebody in your family. But this could also mean, you know, a boss in your workplace, somebody that, uh, you know, gives you responsibility, somebody that you is the you're under uh, under with the uh, with this person under you know with obligations and stuff so it depends it's different for every person i apply what i tell you apply the information that i give you apply it to your specific situation so yes this is what i have for number two let's go with group number three okay you guys group number three let's see what's it oh my gosh oh my gosh so this is bad <laughs> this is bad so for what i see right here you guys are going to be experimenting a deception in money so this could mean not receiving money not receiving a paycheck that you were expecting not receiving a gift this this means a gift too so this could be just not receiving what you want maybe this christmas or maybe in your birthday you're not going to be receiving what you what you wanted or the money that you wanted or the money that you were expecting or the, the job that you were expecting because the job is also means money. So that could be like a, a mm, maybe somebody's just not going to call you from the from the interview at the job that you wanted to work to. Uh, but yes, this is money, this is material, this abundance, deception in all of that. Yes, it's very, very sad. But, oh my gosh. Let's go with group number four. 
Okay, you guys, so group number four, for what I see right here, you guys are going to be experimenting a deception in love. So this is because you're going to be talking to your crush and probably your crush is just not going to like you that much. Or it could just be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, you're going to be have this deception with with your love with the love that you have right now if you're married or not or if you have a boyfriend you're gonna you're gonna be experimenting this this crying this deception this this illusion this feeling of just like oh you know bumped uh with your this is love this is all about love and everything so if you like somebody if you don't have a partner but if you like somebody that could happen you might see another side that you don't like about that person that you like maybe another side of their personality that you don't like and that's maybe that's why you're gonna be well um just experimenting this deception you know in the future it could mean that or it can be just friends that you love so much it can be just a, a, a fight between friends and it's gonna be bad so it depends apply the information that i give you to your specific situation, right? So let's go with group number five, you guys. Let's see what group number five, it says. So this, this card, it says right here that a lot of you have been struggling with something, okay? Maybe some of you are in a competition, okay? If you're in a competition, you're not going to win. You're probably going to be, well, experimenting this defeat, experimenting this deception, with something and maybe you're in a some type of competition or sometime some type of um struggling with something that could mean too that you're just not gonna win whatever it is that you're trying to win at whatever it is that you're trying to get you're not gonna get it whatever it is that you're you know you're defending is not gonna stay good it's not gonna be good for you it's just not you're not gonna get whatever it is that you're looking for and fighting for and in you know like um putting all your energy into you're not going to be getting it or you're going to be disappointed because it's just not going to be the way you wanted it to be so apply what i'm telling you apply the information what i'm telling you to your specific situation everybody has a different situation so apply it to your situation that resonates so i hope you guys liked it let's go with group number six let's see what it says with group number six Okay, you guys, so group number six, this card, if you chose this card, it this means you're going to get disappointed in friends. You're going to be disappointed at friends, experimenting this defeat with friends, experimenting this um, deception probably by friends, by in your social life, in your... In your life just in your life but this means in your social life you're gonna be alone you're gonna be lonely alone sad probably just getting away from people that because you're gonna be disappointed okay you're just gonna everything's just not gonna work out with somebody this could mean that somebody is just gonna be talking behind your back and you're gonna find out okay this could mean you're gonna be hearing r rumors in maybe a fight might break out or something it's just this is what it's saying it talks about social life and being alone and staying alone because you feel like well you're going to be experimenting this deceit okay this just oh my gosh it's just not gonna it's not gonna work out with friends people that you know acquaintances it's just not gonna work out okay for some of you are going to be trying to find a friend. Maybe you thought that you had this friend and then it just turns out it, he wasn't your friend or she wasn't your friend after all. And you're going to find out that it, it wasn't like the way you thought it was. So it depends. Apply the information with your specific situation. So let's go with group number, what is this, seven? Let's go with group number seven. What type of deception you're going to be experimenting in the future? Okay, with this card, it says about your car. This could be maybe your car is just going to break down. Maybe your car is going to get a flat tire. Maybe you're going to cancel the trip that you wanted to. Maybe you guys are just not going to go move houses where you wanted to. You're not going to move to another state. It's going to it's going to it's going to be this deception. It probably might be like a little I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but it might just get a little bit of um, just not right away okay it might not happen right away like you want it to so something might come up something might delay the trip something might delay the the car fixing something is just gonna happen to your car to a trip to a uh, moving houses moving states 
So yes, 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 yes. Apply the information that I'm giving you to your specific situation. Let's go with group number eight. What type of deception you're going to be receiving, uh, experimenting in the future, in the near future? Okay, you guys. So this card, this talks about, okay, nightmares. This talks about headaches. This talks about pain and just crying. So a lot of you are going to be having this deception because hurt hurt so bad because i see this is this is a lot of hurt this is so much hurt so tons of you are going to be receiving experimenting this deceit probably by a betrayal this means a betrayal uh this means this this could be a betrayal because of your loved ones or your partner or just somebody just dying or just a bad news you're you guys are going to be experimenting this this horrible things going on for you it just it's just really bad because this card is just so sad you know this card it talks about just some someone that is grieving someone that is crying so much someone that is experimenting tons of pain so much pain so this could be betrayal and love with your partner this could be somebody dying this could be just somebody that uh is gonna cause you like so much pain with something or you you just might experiment something that might cause you a lot of pain so yeah boys that's what i got for you i hope you guys liked it subscribe and comment down below i hope you guys liked it and bye